I spent a lot of time in prisons, talking with prisoners. And they were mostly men. And here were, here were men that, um, you know, were inc incarcerated. But as I talked to them, they were men who were abused family-wise. They had been in wartime. They had PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. They had a lot of reasons as to why they were in prison that were beyond, I'm a bad person, um, which is what society tends to give them. I murdered somebody, I stole something, I robbed, I did these bad things. No, no, underneath all of that is, is a soul crying out for help. I learned more, I think, from our prisoners than from just about any place else. Um, here, generally speaking, are people that are loaded with guilt. They're loaded with unresolved emotional issues. They reflect in a somewhat exaggerated way how our society is nowadays. They feel very misunderstood. Um, many of them are very repentful what, for what had happened. Um, but they recognize they really couldn't control themselves given all the abuses they'd been through in, in their life. And I would love to be able to hand them a key to a door of their own prison. They're in a prison, a physical prison, but I'm talking about a mental prison, a prison of their own making. The same kind of prison everybody else is in it is not really aware of it. So everybody has the key, everybody can turn the key. And once you do and walk outside those prison doors, there's a whole world that awaits us that I invite you into. Well, if you're an advocate for the prisoners, one of the things that you do is, is uh, start to learn this process yourself, have to get your own awareness of it, climb that stairway to miracles, and then when you speak with the prisoners, you're gonna radiate a lot differently than you had before. And the prisoners are gonna pick that up. They're gonna pick up another way, they're gonna, they're gonna ask in some fashion, well, what are you doing? What, what's different now about it? How can I get that? And you can start spreading the word this way. And it's not just, limited to prisoners by any means. I mean, how many teachers do we have in the world that are influencing their students? And how can they radiate differently? That teacher starts to radiate love in this more advanced way, the children are gonna pick it up. And they're gonna say, well, what is teacher doing you know, that I'm not? What can I learn from her you know, beyond you know, English and math and whatever else she would be teaching or he would be teaching? How can I learn that other thing that seems to motivate her and move her around this world? How can I learn that? And then they, she, that motivates children. And there are, there are women's groups and there are men's groups and there are all kinds of groups that you may be part of or influential in or an advocate for. And you start first with you and let them say, oh, what is it you got that I want, you know? How do I get that? So that's how we do it. We do it individually first. And then we just start radiating to everybody around us. You know, you, you become magnets to people when that happens because you're so different than what other people are. People pick up that difference and there's something glorious about it. 